this video is in addition to the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Samba server installation and in this video I'll show you how to set up a shared folder that's password protected. So to begin with you're going to need to make sure that you have both the Samba installed as well as the system config Samba tools and this is the command here for installing Samba and the command for installing the uh, system tool that we're going to use is going to there it is system-config-samba I'm going to go ahead and leave this open because I'm going to need this terminal in just a minute but to begin with we're going to go ahead and create a folder on the desktop and I'm going to call it password share and what we're going to do now is go to system administration and samba enter in the password for the root user and we've got our Samba server configuration uh, utility tool to use right here. Now we can go ahead and add this folder right now so I'll go ahead and hit the plus symbol we're going to go ahead and browse for that folder and it's on our desktop and there's our password share folder and I can go ahead and say make it writable, make it visible now when we come to access you're going to notice that there's a couple accounts probably already loaded in your um, window here and this is the Lecture Snippets is the user account that I have on here. If I select this, I'm going to have a problem trying to connect to it right now. And that's because we need to add the uh, username, uh, user and username uh, with their password into the Samba's configuration as well. So it does show, it pulls a list here of users that I have, but it's still not going to work. And so before I can actually get this to work, I'm going to pull up my terminal again. And we're going to go ahead and type in a quick, simple command, sudo smb password or P-A-S-S-W-D space dash A for the add and now we need to choose which user we want to add and if you take a quick look here Lecture Snippets is one of my users this is the one I want to add to my configuration for Samba so I'm going to type in Lecture Snippets and then hit enter it's going to ask me for the password and so now we're going to go ahead and type in the password for the user account I recommend using the same password you use for the login that way you don't forget them and now that account has been updated for Samba's configuration as well so now if I pick lecture snippets here and I hit OK on that I do have a password protected for lecture snippets I'm going to go ahead and right click on this folder go to properties and under share I'm going to go ahead and tell it to share this folder and allow others to create and delete folders we'll do that but we're not going to give the guest access for this so I'll go ahead and hit close now and just to look at that it make sure the settings are set up here for access I've got allow only allow access to specific users like our snippets and I've got the folder also shared so let's go back to our Windows machine and I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, backslash backslash and then the IP address 10.0.0.7 and you'll see the password share folder now show up. I'm going to go ahead and double click inside of that. It's going to ask me to type in my username and password. And now I'm inside the folder. And I can go ahead and create a new folder. I can go ahead and modify the settings that are in there. So that's creating a password protected folder within Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Samba configuration.